It's not the effort that you apply to it that makes it fast, it's removing the movement that makes it fast. Y'all come watch this. You're gonna start with the marker over your respective name on the dot. On the buzzer, your objective is to draw me a line from there to there. You have half a second to do this. <laughs> Just kidding. <Got> <laughs> Drawer, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Cool. Five. So if you pay attention, right, watch. This is the dot that they were going to, right? Both of them came in hot and heavy, 100 miles an hour, 100% of the way, and then realized this will not work, right? And they had to like hit the brakes. And then what happened is about right here, there was a change. Right here, there was a change. Right here, there was a change, right? With this, this one took off in this, so he there's a very slight radius right here, and he changed. And then there was another one here, and he changed, and here, and he changed, and then he landed, right? And so what I need to, to try to do is to, to cut that out of it, right? If I can cut that out of it, then life would be better off for me. That, that's one place I can gain time. The other place is leaving this spot, right? So if we were to draw this out, most people's muzzle line looks something like this. It lifts, comes back, and it does a little jiggle, and it shoots over, and they're like, oh crap, and then it does something like that, and then they go bang. Everything other than this to this is excess movement that equals time. If this were a shoestring that was just laying here like that and I grabbed it, that'd be a pretty long shoestring if I stretched it out, right? There's a lot of excess movement that's not required. Uh, so I have to figure out how to de decrease that. I call this an EKG transition for obvious reasons, right? It looks like an EKG. This is a fast EKG. I'm interested in, if we started here, could we do something that looks like this, right? Uh, that is gonna be a significantly shorter line. So the first requirement of this is that this gun lifts from this target and literally never comes back to it. This is a bump. Nah, out. Right, see how the gun's never staying on that target. All of this is you're pushing a gun too far too long. If you push it all the way to the spot, that happens. You guys seeing that, like when people are doing this? That, I could be shooting, but I'm not. I'm still drawing a line, right? The brain can't process this, right? It's trying to aim and it's waiting on this to stop so that it can aim. What I'm gonna ask you to do feels demonstrably slower than that, right? But the result is always faster. Remember, it's not the, the effort that you apply to it that makes it fast, it's removing the movement that makes it fast. The first step is, is to, uh, when, I, when I fired this shot, what's the first thing I ought to do? Get the next Look, at the next. Look where you're going, man. If you don't look where you're going, it, this will not work, right? And so here's here are some symptoms that occur. People will stay, they stay in the gun the whole way over, right? Uh, why? Well, number one, maybe they just don't know that they should look and then move. Nobody ever told them to do that. That could be a thing. I think that the biggest one is, is for uh, not very advanced shooters that are still struggling with finding dots and things like that. They have found the dot for the shot and they don't want to relinquish that. And so they want to stay with it as it goes. Um, You've got to get over that. Sometimes when their eyes get to here, they'll stop looking at the second target and they'll start looking at the glass trying to find the dot because they know they're about to shoot, right? And, and this never works, man. You have to create an environment where you can prove to yourself over and over where I look, if I will just point and look at that thing, the dot will, will manifest in front of me. Like it just, it just happens. Um, first part is snapping the eyes, man. You heard the term see faster. My vocabulary fails me on the like the, the definition that's in my head, but it truly is a thing. Like the faster you can see things, the faster you can shoot things. It just is what it is. The sooner you see this spot, the sooner this is all gonna come together. There are two things that you can do to reduce the overall time that it takes you to shoot two targets. That is leave sooner, shoot sooner. The leave sooner part is gonna come with the technique I'm about to show you. The shoot sooner part is a byproduct of your eyeballs being there and the gun entering that target in such a way that it allows me to shoot it. If I were to split this target straight down the middle, right? If that optic or those sights encroach beyond that center line, it's too much, right? And I'm being very, very critical of that. Like, well, it stayed in the alpha. I don't care, you pushed it too hard, man. Like you could do better, right? So the second shot's gonna be a dry fire click, right? Watch. So that one would have hit right there. Five, 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 three, four, nine. 
the beauty of the technique is, is that now in total control, I can do that for you over and over and over. And it's still faster than most people that rush, try, hurry, and, and still miss and all that other crap, right?